Thank you so much, Dr. Katie, for agreeing to this interview today. We really appreciate it. You're welcome. It's nice to have you and nice to be part of this today. Wonderful. We understand that in addition to being a, a well-known plastic surgeon here in Newport Beach, that you also have um, a new venture working with Marula Oil, the Leakey Collection, as one of the founders? That's right. I met Philip and Katie Leakey, who live full-time in Kenya, who are a wonderful couple who have had some amazing uh, stories about their achievements in Kenya, including, you know, a lot of educational opportunities for uh, the children in, in Kenya, as well as the women of um, Kenya and, and the Maasai tribe. They approached me about two years ago um, to consider looking at the benefits of an oil that they have found in Africa called the Marula oil. And they wanted me to um, study and look at the healing potentials of the oil. And we headed off immediately. They're great friends now and we're excited to pursue this opportunity with them. Oh, excellent. And what were the, what was the origin of, uh, origin of Marula oil? Marula oil, uh, Marula oil comes from the nut of a Marula tree which is native to Africa. And uh, basically it has a lot of intrinsic properties that are good for healing, they're good for antioxidant and anti-aging. And so it has a dual sort of cosmetic as well as a healing side to the oil. And so um, women in Africa, the Maasai tribe in Africa, have been using the oil for hundreds of years to promote better scars and also as a moisturizer on their skin. And they have had some amazing um, anti-aging healing results. And so it's, it's something worth looking into and exploring. And have you done any clinical testing or other testing on marula oil to verify that its benefits for the skin care? Yes, when the leakies first approached me, the two things I wanted to confirm was one, the anti-aging aspect of the oil and also the healing aspect of the oil. So the first thing we did is we sent samples of the lab to, or sam samples of the oil to a lab, independent lab, that basically looked at the levels of the antioxidants in the oil. Antioxidants are what fights the free radicals which can cause premature aging. So the higher the, the antioxidant levels, the better anti-aging property that oil has. We sent a sample of the oil along with a sample of a leading oil on the market, the argon oil, and we had the, the lab do a comparison study. The, the marula oil did far better, it had a higher level of antioxidant levels, and so indirectly uh, it has better anti-aging properties to it. We also looked at the healing aspects of it, and one of the things I wanted to do is look at marula oil in terms of healing skin, and healing in the setting of a skin trauma. In my practice, we uh, deal with a lot of breast reconstructed patients, and these patients typically come in post cancer operation, breast cancer operation with radiation changes on their skin as a result of their treatment. And radiation is a um, similar to uh, you know sunburn except much more severe. It has skin changes, it has in some cases breakdown of skin. And so we figured if marula oil was helpful in healing these types of injuries that it would be good for your run-of-the-mill sunburn skin and post peel type of it. undertook a study with 24 patients. We took half of them and treated them with an aloe-based moisturizer, took the other half and we treated them with marula oil and we compared the results. The marula oil patients did better, they had more calming and soothing to their skin, the redness resolved more quickly, they had uh, quicker healing of their skin and so overall it became very convincing that uh, not only was it good in terms of anti-aging, there was also a lot of healing properties to the oil. Now, do you use it for any other um, procedures in your office, for instance, after a glycolic peel or something? We do. Uh, it's, it's incorporated really into our routine nowadays uh, with patients who come in who want to have a laser peel, a glycolic acid peel, um, uh, any type of a resurfacing type procedure of their skin. Marula oil expedites that post-peel uh, resurfacing phase of healing and really it reduces the redness so patients can get back to work and social function a lot more quickly. Excellent. Um, as far as the absorption rate, I understand um, that it absorbs actually more quickly than, an, uh, say, an argon oil or a grapeseed oil. Why is that? 
uh, it's the fatty acid composition of the oil that makes it unique. If you look at the uh, marula oil, it has 80% oleic acid in it. That's what dictates how quickly an oil is penetrating the skin and how quickly it is absorbed into the skin. Um, argon oil, for example, as a comparison, has only a 40% oleic concentration, so it's double the argon oil. So the penetration is more rapidly as a result of the higher levels of the oleic acid. It also has a combination of higher levels of palmitic and stearic acid. These are two fatty acids that basically form a trap on the skin and you know allow moisture to trap in and stay in longer. So the, the retention rate of moisture is significantly better with the use of the oil. So the anti-aging properties come from both the antioxidants as well as the hydration of the skin? That's correct. Also, can people with oily skin or acneic skin use this marula oil? Marula oil in studies have been shown to have antibacterial properties to it. It is very versatile and as a result can be used on all skin type, including the acne prone. So women with oily skin don't have to worry about increasing the amount of oil on their skin? No, not at all. In fact, when you apply the oil initially with, uh, with oil in general, there is that sort of greasy feel as, you, uh, as you're applying it. Within probably 30 seconds to a couple of minutes, that goes away and becomes more of a hydrating feel to the skin. And because of the rapid absorption and because of the um, antimicrobial as well as the anti-healing property or the healing properties of the oil, it can be used on patients who have acne or have acne prone skin. Well, thank you very much. I know you're very busy and I don't want to keep you much longer, so I appreciate it and look forward to perhaps talking to you again one day. Thank you so much for having me and, and having this opportunity to discuss Marula.